Now we do as a channel go out and we try and find things that are not quite perfect and we see how you can rectify it. What we're going to do today is just have a look at the other side of it because for most people, for about 95% of all EV drivers, they are absolutely fine and it's a perfect experience for them. So we're here today, we're at Charnock Richards, it's on the M6 northbound, and we're with Jerry, my daughter-in-law. And Jerry is, well, let's say she's a total beginner. Jerry, do you drive? No. 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 Jerry doesn't drive. She's not got a license. She's not driven a petrol car or a diesel car no. or an electric car. No. Just a quick question, would driving an electric car, if you were going to take your test, would it frighten you or excite you? Excite me, I think. Oh, right, you'd be interested. <laughs> yeah. That's really good. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a look at a typical day as an EV owner, what's the good, what's the bad, the experience. Uh, and here we are today, we're at a charging place, and this really is throwing you in the deep end. What we're gonna ask you to do, with no experience of driving, let alone EVs, we're gonna ask you to charge my car. I will. You're going to have a go, are you? Yeah. That's really great. Let's see how we get on. I'm Dave. This is Dave Takes It On. Right, so uh, from your accent, you're not British, are you? No, I am Hungarian. Hungarian, okay. Yeah. And did you drive in Hungary? No. You've never driven? No, never. And since you've been over here, have you been tempted to drive? I've been, but I've never done it. Never got round to it. <laughs> <laughs> no. And obviously you've been in EVs, this, this particular one, on many occasions. Yes. Yeah. Uh, if you were going to drive, would you think you'd prefer a petrol or a diesel or an EV? Probably EV. Right, so you are modern, you're younger than me, so yeah, this is the future. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you, I know you're thinking of taking your driving lessons, aren't you? Yes. Would you do that in an electric car? Yeah, why not? So, Jerry, we have to charge this car from time to time. Quick question, do you have any idea how to do that? No, no. <laughs> do you have but... any idea where the charger plugs in? I've seen other cars in there, and it's on there the back. There are chargers with a plug, but where does that plug go on the car? Oh, well, somewhere in the back, I suppose. Mm. And the answer is no. No. Okay, now this is rare because an awful lot of EVs will have, like the Ford Explorer there, will have a big flap on the side, which is pretty obvious where the charge is gonna be. You will press that or release that, and that's where the plug goes. On this particular one, it is hidden. So from a total beginner's point of view, if you were handed this and said, go and charge it, you're stuck. Yeah? Totally. Probably, yeah. <laughs> okay, so on this particular car, it is hidden, just a, makes the car look a bit better if it hasn't got flaps all over the place. But on this one, it's actually here. And there's three ways of opening it. Uh, the best way is just from an app, which we have on the phone here. And we just press that little button there and it pops open. And it's as simple as that to open it. If we were at the Ford Explorer, that one, you'd just press the flap and that would open. You all right now? Yeah. So if we go and pull over there, you can now charge the car for us, can't you? Yeah. You're going to have a go? Yeah. That's brilliant. Well, Jerry, we're really throwing you in the deep end at the moment, but you're now faced with two chargers that you could use here. Do you want to have a guess? Any idea which one? It's probably this. Absolutely this spot one. on. <laughs> That's brilliant. Okay. Can you take that one out for us, please? Lovely. Now, I said there were three ways of opening the flap. There is another way in your hand at the moment. So would you like to see if you can find that one? In my hand? Yeah. <laughs> Do you need to touch this? Try it. No, no. it's not contactless. That's silly then. Hey! I did it. And now just plug it in. Now, Jerry, turn and face me because that's it, you've done it. There's nothing else to do now. How what, what, do you pay then? That's a really good question. I'm glad you asked that. What happens now? Let me explain the process. Can you see the blue lights? Oh, they've just gone green. Yep. 
the blue lights show that the car is talking to the charger, asking it for some power. Yep. But the charger is connected to a computer and the computer knows this car. And with the computer, I've registered my debit card as a method of payment. So my car has now told the charger, charge the, this session to my account. So I don't have to use contactless, I don't have to pay for it. I have to pay for it, but it's not in. <laughs> I don't make a separate payment. So at the moment, that really is as simple as the charging is for this car at this particular charger. You take the plug out, you press the button on it. You found that, brilliant. Plug it in and you walk away. And that, for the vast majority of people with an EV, is as difficult as it gets. Why? How do you think about that for charging? Do you like it's that? It's like charging my phone. <laughs> it's like charging your phone, plug it in. It's as yeah. simple as that, isn't it? Now, imagine we've been here 10, 15, 20 minutes and the car's full. How would you try and get the plug out? So you need to press the button when you take it out. Now. Yeah, you might. No. Yeah. Easy, isn't it? <laughs> and then just put it back. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Jerry, you have just charged this car. How do you feel about that? Very proud. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really easy, isn't it? Yeah. So total beginner, Jerry. You don't drive. You've never driven a petrol car, never driven an EV. But we've just taken you through a single charging session. And it's easy, isn't it? Yeah. So we've taught you once. So this is your main run now. So let's <laughs> see if you can remember it and do it again. So can you plug it in and charge it, please? Wow, you're an expert already. <laughs> Is that easy? Very easy. <laughs> Can you unplug it? <laughs> Viewers, that is as simple as charging can get. Now I know we're at a Tesla supercharger and they make it easy, but we're gonna show you exactly the same thing with a FastNet charger using auto charge. And believe me, it is exactly the same. Charging is not the issue that everyone makes it out to be. Once you've done it once and you know what you're doing, this is absolutely simple. You pull in, you plug in, you walk away. That's the end of it. And when you finish, you come back, you unplug it, put the plug back in the charger, get in and drive away. Could it be any simpler? It's more complicated pulling into a petrol station, opening up the flap, taking out the screw cap or whatever it is, plugging, up, plugging in your nozzle, holding it there for two, three, four, five minutes while you fill up, breathing in all the fumes, and then putting that back, screwing your cap in, and it, it, it's simpler than even that. So there you go, you're now a seasoned expert. Oh, thank you. Right, now, Jerry, you're being ever so good today because you've got no knowledge of EVs or driving or anything, so we're really throwing in the deep end. And it's going to get worse, I'm afraid, because <laughs> you're going to find a couple of things here that will, um, will not be known to you. So okay. what we're going to do first is uh, I'll open up the charger flap for you, uh, make that, that bit easy, and this is just done purely on the app. Uh, most people will have... Um, either an app or something in the car to open it up. So I've opened it up. Right. So would you now like to get the plug out of there and plug it in? Oh, okay. Yeah, you've spotted <laughs> it, haven't you? <laughs> okay, I've got a really old car. It's a very different one. They don't make these anymore, but this is the old original Tesla proprietary socket and it doesn't match up with CCS2, this is CCS2. So we have a simple adapter. And for me, with the older cars and anyone with a Model S or Model X, we'll have to use these all the time when we're using CCS2. So that one, you can see where it goes, can't you? Oh, That's it. 
Lovely. So, would you like to just plug in? That's it. Yeah. Done. Wait for it to click. There you go. When it clicks, it says it's accepted it and, and it's locked it in. So now okay. we're going to have to pay for this. And I'm going to be really mean. I'm going to ask you to pay for it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we need to go around the front. On the front. Right, so which one are we on? We're on connector A. A. So just press connector A. And I can't see that. Can you see what to do? Credit card. Glad you can see that. I can't see it. <laughs> it's processing. Right, Jerry, you now connected it. <laughs> Okay, for viewers, this is really, really as simple as it gets. The payment method, contactless. In this case, you've seen someone using a mobile phone with their online banking instead of a contactless card. Uh, but exactly the same, the process is the same. You plug it in, this one we need an adapter. You come around on this one, because this is not a Tesla charger, we have to tell the ch charger how you're gonna pay for it. You simply use that. What it will do is it will now uh, start the charging session. We're charging at 41.6 kilowatts. So that's a, quite a reasonable rate. Uh, and it will now charge until either the limit that we've set on the car, get where we reach that limit, or when we've had enough and wanna go home. So rather than run up your bank account, uh, I think we need to stop this. So <laughs> can you see a stop button? Yeah, stop charging. Finished. Okay, so now... We just have to unplug, I guess. Right, now, unfortunately, this is one of those uh, silly anomalies that we find. The charger does not always open the uh, d disconnect. So here, all we're gonna do, back on the app, press the app, disconnect, pull it out. It won't pull. Wow. pull. No. It's just... No? Try it now. There we yeah. go. I'll have my adapter back. Let's see Put that back in there. Close the flap. You're an expert now. That's that. <laughs> I seriously, in terms of tuition, this is like five minutes. This is how difficult it is to adapt from filling up with petrol to going over to an EV. This is particularly difficult because we need the adapter, it's different, and because the charger and the car don't communicate with each other in the same way. But uh, it's charging, and once you've done it once here, would you be comfortable doing this every time if that's what you've... Yeah. Yeah. Instead of filling it with petrol, you come here, plug it in, sit in your car, go and have a cup of coffee, Wait when it's finished, come back, finish it, off you go. We'll have to get you driving, won't we? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks very much. We want to thank you for watching along as Dave takes it on. And if you like what we do, all we ask of you is to click that like and subscribe to follow along. Thank you for watching Dave Takes It On. Yep. <laughs> I can't, I can't think of anything interesting no, no. to say. <laughs>